Hello, this is Haku Bean, and I am here with the things Dr. Bright is not allowed to do at the SCP Foundation. We are going to be concluding this today, regardless of how many there might be left. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and a comment down below. Number 201. Dr. Bright works for the SCP Foundation. Not the Terminus Foundation. He does not possess a degree in, a degree in psychohistory. And no group of interest is the Second Foundation. 202. The fact that SCP-682 regenerates its all lost tissue does not make it an infinite hamburger machine. Most especially because they tasted horrible. 203. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use SCP-127 to place projectile as utterance is hello for the Tooth Fairy to give him money. 204. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use uh, SCP-252 ARC on uh, Fred Phillips, any member of the Phillips family, any person or organization affiliated with uh, Westboro Baptist Church. Although I can absolutely understand why he would want to. Dr. Wright is not allowed to attempt to seek the Horizon Initiative on the above religious organization. I might by myself though. Dr. Wright may not request a pool of D-class recruited solely from members of the above religious organization. Honestly, now that's just unfair. He absolutely should be allowed to. Honestly, the entire religious organization of the Westboro Baptist Church, which, if you don't know, is a very openly homophobic religious organization, should absolutely be recruited into being D-class. 205. The Manor Charitable Foundation does not host an annual Labor Day Telethon, and Dr. Bright is not allowed to offer the services of Foundation employees as performers or Phone bank operators for such. 206. Dr. Bright is not allowed access to Popular Science Magazine. That how to you know, section is way too dangerous for Bright to see now that they've shown on how to create cyborg cockroaches. I can see that. Two hundred seven. Doctor Bright is not allowed to go on crusade, uh, on crusade, or on jihad. Doctor Bright is not uh, permitted to issue fatwas against anyone and or anything. I don't know what a fatwa is, or if I even said that right. Two hundred eight. Doctor Bright is no longer allowed to declare. After ten thousand years, I'm free. It's time to conquer Earth. Upon assuming a new host. Yeah, that, that's my thing. Don't steal that, right? Okay. 209. All Foundation personnel are now required to attend a seminar on the difference between an original idea and a good idea before being allowed new or continuing contact with Dr. Bright, Dr. Clef, or Dr. Kondraki. <sighs> 210. Dr. Bright does not have attend and tons of gold hidden somewhere at Site-19. Told you this all happened at Site-19. 211. SCP-963 is not to be given away as a good luck charm. That's a death charm. 212. Dr. Bright is not a wizard, no matter what he might tell you. He's not an alchemist either, and is not to be consulted in regarding alchemical issues. Or which, technically the AO, that would be called a warlock, given that uh, at which is historically are known for creating deals with fiends, aka devils, which is a warlock thing. Like for not magic and cannot perform magic, and must give sufficient explanation for any actions he undertakes. He tried to get away with just saying, I did my magic. When he did something anomalous. 
213. Dr. Fried is not, nor has he ever been, the undisputed SCP Intercontinental Champion. 214. Dr. Fried is no longer allowed to run through any site that includes Site 19 while screaming, the, key the Keter is loose, unless it's an actual emergency. Claiming this for research on the effects of social engineering is not an emergency. Nor is using it to clear out the area as Dr. Bright is otherwise restricted from entering due to the reasons given on this list. Dr. Bright may not start referring to any persons or SCPs as the Keter in order to circumvent these rules, actually, unless they are actually classified as Keter. 2.15 Dr. Bright may not tell the class first nuclear recruit and staff anyone that SCP-920 will show them to their quarters again. We are still looking for 12 D-Class personnel who have disappeared into the Pyrenees. The Pyrenees. I don't know what that means. 2.16. Dr. Wright may never attempt to ingest SCP-184 to win a pie-eating contest. Nor any other kind of eating or drinking contest. <sighs> 217. After what happened last month, Dr. Fry is not allowed to watch Firefly ever again. I think most of the people involved that are still alive are still in the psychiatric ward. Dr. Fry is not a brown coat and we can stop the signal. Dr. Fry is a leaf on a wit and, and watch him so, so, so soon. Okay. 218. Dr. Fry is not allowed to come within 5 meters of any explosive device or detonation device. Remember what happened to Area Blank? Not even if Dr. Iceberg asks nicely. Trying to blow up 6A2 is not a valid excuse. 219. Attempting to make shadow puppets with SCP-17 is forbidden. Trying to entertain SCP-053 is not a valid excuse. 220. Dr. Fry is no longer allowed to stand in a corner and twiddle his thumbs. I don't know what the heck that led to, but that sounds like a horrible situation. 221. Dr. Fry is no longer allowed to use the words swag, swagget, swaginator, swagify, or super swag to define himself or any other persons. I mean, honestly, swag kind of lost uh, any meaning outside of Ohio. 222. Yellow is not ex an excuse for anything, most especially because it does not apply to him. Neither is why not. Hmm. Dr. Wright is not allowed to order the class first, I mean, convince new person, I mean, any person, I mean, ask anybody ever to play game of patty cake with SCP-49. Two twenty-four. Dr. Wright is not allowed to ask Mr. Deeds to do any of the things on this list. 2.25. Dr. Wright is not allowed to bring chocolate into the restroom. Actually, Dr. Wright is not allowed to bring food into a restroom. I don't see how it could uh, uh, go well anyway. 2.26. Dr. Wright is not allowed to speak in a voice resembling a movie character. <sighs> Dr. Wright is not allowed to reenact any movie. Even G-rated ones? Even G-rated ones. 2.27. Dr. Wright is not allowed to learn cheerleader routines. I mean, dress like a cheerleader. Actually, do anything related to the sport of cheerleading. I wonder what he did, but that's the same with a lot of these. 228. SCP-957 is not a prerequisite to becoming possessed by Dr. Bright. 229. Dr. Bright is not allowed access to SCP-1197 for purposes for the purpose of corroborating with himself. Dr. Bright is not allowed access to SCP-1197 
1197 for the purpose of propositioning himself. 2.30. As of September 26, a year or past the year of 2000, Dr. Bright is not allowed access to any hotel for any reason. Site blank Site 19 budget does not allow for extra cleanup fees, especially not as a result of Dr. Bright's actions. 2.31. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to say, Everything the Bright touches is our kingdom. 2.32. Dr. Bright may not attempt to digitally enhance any of the original Star Wars movies. Leave that to someone who actually knows what they're doing. 233. Dr. Wright is not allowed to use this list as a to do list. 234. Dr. Wright is not. I think Ron Hubbard Incarnate is not allowed to tell Oprah Snow otherwise. I don't know who that is, so if you want to explain that, go ahead. 235. Dr. Bright is not Sherlock Holmes and is not allowed to say what he thinks a person's appearance means about them to any reality bending SCP. Dr. Bright is not allowed to cause a containment breach of any kind just so he can have a case. Neither is he allowed to convince anyone uh, to be Watson. 236. Dr. Bright may not urge bereaved staff, staff members to look at the bright side. <clears throat> Nor is he, he allowed to refer to any name-related funds as his bright ideas. Dr. Wright is not allowed to refer to any SCPs by nature resources or personnel as his fancy dancing pants. That seems very random. 237. Dr. Wright is not allowed to use SCP-1994 or J with Dr. Kane. Hours of actual productive research are as of yet to, re to be recovered. 238. Oops. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to play chicken with members of any department. 239. Dr. Bright is not allowed to order the works from the cafeteria. Dr. Bright is also not allowed to put anything on his tab. 240. Dr. Bright is no longer allowed to commit Sudoku, which is um, ritual self ending. Even if he has a, an audience, especially a captive one. 241. Dr. Wright is not in possession of any of the following a bright mobile, bright ranks, a bright claw, a bright suit, or a bright or a baseball bright. Dr. Wright is not allowed to yell to the bright cave. 242. Dr. Wright is no longer allowed to sing Silent Night following the All is Bright incident. 243. Dr. Wright is no longer allowed to commission, produce, advertise, or display anime videos who uh, containment stuff. Actually, anyone with the subject. What happens when you freak up uh, containing SCP inserts SCP here? No, it is not educational, Bright. Not the way you show it. 244. Dr. Wright is not allowed to. It's not allowed funding to replicate the experiments of Dr. Krieger from Archer. 245. Dr. Wright is not allowed to try to convince personnel to replicate his famous high dive into SCP 120. He's not allowed to talk about his famous high dive into SCP 120. 246. Dr. Wright is not uh, to be referred to as Rainbow Bright. 247. Dr. Bright is not allowed access to infants for the purpose of becoming the baby New Year. 248. Dr. Bright is not allowed to create a, uh, the things that Dr. Bright is allowed to do at the Foundation list by listing everything that isn't on this list. Just because it isn't on this list doesn't mean you should do it. He may, however, request for one to be created. He may not, however, suggest what should be on said list. I don't think there is such a list. 249. Dr. Bright is not to attempt to neutralize SCP-1013 just because he can do Fluttershy's stare. 250. Dr. Bright must not create 
an infinite logic loop to less feeble-minded individuals. 251. There is no such department known as the Bright Ideas Department. Furthermore, if such department did exist, Dr. Bright would not be an employee of this department. 252. Dr. Bright is not allowed to throw himself through a window to prove that the glass is unbreakable. For any reason whatsoever. 253. Dr. Bright is not allowed to convince the class actually anybody to cough in front of SCP-49. Yeah, that's a that's an instant and a half. 254. Dr. Rice is not allowed to use any green dyes for the purpose of being creative. Wasn't that person also told that green is not a creative color? 255. Because reasons will no longer be accepted as a viable excuse for removing any SCP from containment. 256. Dr. Wright may not refer to anyone as a peasant. 257. Dr. Wright is not allowed to attempt to convince the class personnel, actually anyone, that shouting Bing Bong, bring it on, while ringing SCP-513 will negate its effect. 258. Dr. Wright is not allowed to arrange gladiatorial arena combat between D-Class. Even especially if any SCPs are used as weapons. 259. SCP-173 does not just want a hug, and Dr. Bright may not attempt to convince anyone otherwise. 260. Because there's an alternate ver universe me who wouldn't do it, it's no longer a valid excuse for violating containment procedures. 261. Dr. Fright is not allowed to attack instances of SCP-217, claiming that the Borg have attacked. <sighs> 262. Dr. Fright is not allowed access to visual or audio recordings of the dance craze dubbed the Harlem Shake, anything deemed viral. 263. Dr. Rice is not allowed to start any drag races between Indicla as in cars and SCP-096. 264. Dr. Rice is not allowed to yell out immigration near any foreign and personnel. Damn, Brad, that, that was racist. You were so cool just a minute ago. 265. Dr. Rice is not allowed to reenact any scene from Pulp Fiction. 266. Dr. Wright is not allowed to convince new person, oh, actually anyone, to have a friendly airing contest with SCP-96. 267. Dr. Wright is not allowed to open SCP-1025 on uh, random pages in front of anyone. 268. Dr. Wright is not allowed to dare anyone to finish SCP-1997. 269. Dr. Wright is not allowed to send a slinky down SCP. E87. Well, that would just be pointless and go on forever. Two seventy. Doctor Wright is not an instance of SCP-1000 and is not allowed to claim otherwise, especially not when using the body of a primate, which is his current body. Two seventy-one. Doctor Wright is not allowed to use SCP-884 for shaving purposes nor any other er, personal health air purpose, nor any a non-approved purpose whatsoever, especially not for the purpose of making people doubt that he's allowed to use it. 272. Dr. Bright is not allowed to claim that researcher er, Zen Kiryu is the master of butterflies due to her extensive work on butterfly-related SCPs. King of the Butterfly Ice is not an inheritable tie at all, and not, oh, not even if Kondraki is, really is dead, which, if true, Dr. Wright isn't clear to know. Researcher Zen Kiryu is not to be referred to by Dr. Wright as Queen of the Butterflies, Mistress of the Butterflies, Supreme Princess of the Butterflies, Great Shepherd of the Butterflies, Second Cousin of the Butterflies, or Major Associate of the Butterflies, or any other grandiose title referring to butterflies. 
Seriously, Frank, you need to quit that. That just sounds annoying. 273. Dr. Wright is not allowed to tell New Foundation recruits fictional horror stories involving his, his family. 274. Dr. Wright is not allowed to tell New Foundation recruits factual horror stories involving his family. 275. He is not allowed to edit the list just to mess with people on Tumblr. 276. We do not talk about bottle all day. Especially not out over the site, I didn't come on a speaker, megaphone, group chat, email, or any other devices that to speak to large numbers of people at the same time. 277. We really mean it about adding a list to mess with people on Tumblr. 278. Dr. Wright is allowed to transfer his consciousness into a, a VTuber in order to make serious videos about himself or his family. Especially if it's all true! 279. Dr. Wright is not Hades, nor any other Greek god. I don't care if it's Hercules version or, or Lord Olympus. Wash off the blue body paint now! And please stop trying to set your hair on fire. 280. There are no plans to shut down any site to prevent COVID-19 infection. <sighs> that being said, if certain efforts do not start washing their gosh darn hands after using the bathroom, Dr. Wright has full permission to be himself at them. I'm looking at you, Magnus. And that was the end of this list. There were a few SCPs here that were referenced that I didn't quite I cover in the past I might look into soon. We'll have to see tomorrow. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. And if you didn't enjoy the video, then then why did you waste 20 minutes listening to a video about uh, about something you didn't even enjoy? Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.